Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. And. New message from Mom. I know you're doing your best. Uh, glad we talked, me too. I know you're doing your best. Love you. Of course you do. You're my mum. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. <laughs> ah, Marjana cigarettes kill. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwall will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. Well, might as well go in. Good. You're here. Well, <laughs> that's not usual, right? It should have just pulled me in. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors. And most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Yeah. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. And that's Questions. when you blew in, Chloe. Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Uh... Miranda's idiot, or it's true love? Hmm... It's true love? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, You've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kinda helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. <laughs> Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, I would feel pretty okay. awkward, dude. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Hey, now. Sharing is caring. Laptop? To internet or not to internet. I have feelings about this. 
Most of them are not good feelings. Firework, jealous. Uh, you look hot. Who's the arm candy? Arm candy. Uh, Deborah something? Yeah. Uh, with Rachel in the picture. Uh, Rachel, you're gorgeous. I hate you. And who's Armand? Okay. Oh wait, there was more to. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Rich Lambro playing Spira. Ah, Nathan is in this too. And then we got Dana. Okay. This poster definitely says something. Coil. Oh. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent. Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. Let's comment on that. What to say, what to say. Bitter much? <laughs> Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. Okay, um... That's... the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Search. Rachel looks so happy here. It's quite a nice photo. I guess that is with her dad or something? There's Rachel's belt. Now to give it her. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Times are hard for elite private high schools. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for uh, the Tempest. Sweet collar, Pepe. If I'd known acting meant getting to uh, play with not weapons, really what I, was I aiming totally for. would have should be life is drama. Pretty much. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? So much graffiti all over the place. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Where are all the pencils? Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Graffiti? Hello for Rachel. Yeah, let's do that. Horns on Nathan would be as cool. Save my life. Get some ink. 
Nicely done. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Bring it to her. Ah, I cool really costume. I liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Just a belt. Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Indeed. Uh, let's talk about the bear. I, I, I'd never seen Firelock live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell oh, the yeah. truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yeah. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that I... That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Ah. Uh, no way. Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. <laughs> Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. Indeed. I don't like Rachel. She's a hell of a... You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or... Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. <laughs> By the well, trade. What the hell am I getting into here? Here we go. Going by train. Go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. <laughs> Great. Um. Well, you Dan. Uh, hey, weren't you in Sham? Everything's okay? Yep. Did something happen with uh, True North? You sure you're okay? Yo, let's talk later. Okay. Joe wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Okay, that's probably it. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I probably not. Mean. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. Cargo? I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Dum 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 dum. Just another typical day skipping school with Rachel Amber. 
There's my chair. There's my chair. <laughs> Indeed. Let's kick it. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Yeah. There's my chair. Okay, you're saying nothing new. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. <laughs> is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Um. Uh, <laughs> so, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. Oh, I am kind of so, nervous. It's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Yep. Thanks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. True That's story. Sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? <laughs> I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. I love company. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Yet? Let's do something fun. Okay, shoot. That's great. Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. A lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sure. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. <laughs> okay, so ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? Hmm. Ambidextrous? I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad, because it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. T 
town. I'm afraid the lie was New York. I'm a Cali girl, born and raised. So New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? No cheating. How good she really is at this game. Okay, let's start with a truth. I wanted to be a pirate as a kid. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. Okay, and now we throw in a lie. I'm allergic to cats. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. And now truth. I love science. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. Now then. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas, buckle swash, <laughs> plunder secret treasure. So, pirate, obviously true. Indeed. Be my first mate? Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? <laughs> Okay, you say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work? Ah, uh, Blackwell's a hellhole. This is a hellhole filled with shit where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway. School sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Oh, you good, girl. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times. And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. <laughs> His name is Bongo. His name was Bongo. It was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. Oh. Oh my god. Of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year. <laughs> Definitely. So, if my math is correct... You told me two truths and one lie. Mm-hmm. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. <laughs> You do that. As the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. <laughs> I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, 
but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Well, I trust you. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Getting good. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Share with Rachel, of course. Hey, want to listen? We just feel awkward listening by yourself. At least that's my opinion. And why don't share the live, right? All right, nice moment. Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach, or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. I hear ya. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! Where, where? What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Jump? Fuck it! What do we have to lose? Right? Okay, but I think I'm gonna end off this episode here. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye bye.